please rise for a moment of silence to be followed by the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yes, I'm Trace Manable. And I'm Eden Savoy. And welcome, welcome to, to Bash, Bash TV. TV. Today is Friday, September 24th, making today the official 24th day of school and day two on the cycle. The lunch menu for Monday will be barbecue rib sandwich, green beans, peaches, and milk. The breakfast menu for tomorrow will be goody ring, apple slices, assorted juice, and milk. PSAT testing will be available to juniors and sophomores. Test fees are $10 for juniors and $18 for sophomores. The test will be given at the high school on Wednesday, October 13th from periods 1 through 4. The PSAT is a great primer for the SAT and scores are used to identify national merit scholars and award merit scholarships. Sign up with Mrs. Curry in the guidance office by Wednesday, October 6th. SAT testing dates are scheduled for November 6th with the registration deadline of October 8th, December 4th with the registration deadline of November 4th, March 12th with the registration deadline of February 11th, and June 4th with the registration deadline of May 5th. Juniors, it's time to start looking into colleges and filling out applications. A college admissions representative from several colleges will be available for appointments. A representative from Mokes will be here October 6th at 12. A representative from Bucknell University will be here on Thursday, October 14th at 9 a.m. A representative from King's College will be here October 20th at 8.30. Luzerne County Community College will be here on Thursday, October 28th at 10 a.m. Interested students should sign up in the guidance office. Well, that's it for the main desk. Now let's hear with Ben from Ben with sports. Thanks, Tracy Eden. I'm Ben. Let's take a look at the sports scores from Wednesday and sports for tonight. On Wednesday in the girls' soccer game between Berwick and Crestwood, Kayla Fernandez scored the game-winning goal in the second half. She also had a goal and an assist in the first half. For tonight's sports, varsity football is home with Williamsport at 7 p.m. This is our whiteout game. Varsity golf is away with Wyoming Valley West at 3 p.m. Dismissal, 1.45 p.m. Girls' varsity soccer is away with Wyoming Valley West at 4.15 p.m. Dismissal, 2 p.m. Junior High Soccer is away with Wyoming Valley West at 4 p.m. Dismissal, 2 p.m. Now over to Brendan with FYI to see what's happening around BHS. Thanks, Ben. I'm Brennan, and welcome to FYI. Let's check out what's going on at BHS. The new books are here and ready to be checked out. Please stop by the library to check out the selection. There will be a debate club meeting on Monday, September 27th at 2.40 p.m. in Mr. Gottam's room, room number 9. All interested students are welcome to join. The Teen Center has several exciting announcements. There will be sewing lessons offered on Mondays from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Crocheting lessons are being offered on Tuesdays from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Art with Meeve and Julie is being offered on Wednesdays from 5.15 to 6.45 p.m. and focuses on using various mediums to create cool art. This week's class will be creating yarn pumpkins. And finally, expressive arts will be offered on Thursdays from 4.30 to 6 p.m. This week's class will be turning glass vases into pottery. Juniors, please consider signing up for the junior stand tonight. They are low on staff during the third quarter, and the time you work is credited to your senior project hours, as well as funding your class so you can potentially get it free prom tickets, a free yearbook, or even your senior trip paid for. See Mrs. Eisenberg in room 49 to sign up. Well, that's it for today's episode. To conclude we'll leave you with the birthdays for today 
and over the weekend. Happy birthday to Amy Beer, and happy birthday over the weekend to Chance Lloyd, Carly Oaks, Dylan Smith, Sean and Sponenberg, and Suede Wiggins.